Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Iris and Ada Cleaning. My name is Camden, I am 15 years old and I love cleaning, decorating, and organizing. Today I tackled our family of sevens nasty minivan. So I cleared everything out, it was a disaster, and then I went ahead and vacuumed and wiped everything down. This video is super satisfying so I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. I grabbed a laundry basket and started putting things that did not belong in the car in it to bring inside and put in their proper places. A lot of this stuff was returns because we had just cleared all of the stuff we needed to return out of our house and put it in our car. So the floors were completely covered and they desperately needed to be cleaned. I realized that it would be smart to start with the returns, but in order to put all the returns in the trunk, I needed to clean out the trunk. So first I just cleared everything out and then I went ahead and cleaned up the trash and vacuumed the floor. <music> three-year-old brother is in the process of being potty trained so we have an emergency potty in our car and I decided to clean that down because it really needed to be wiped down and I wanted it to be nice and clean before I put it back in our car. While I had the trunk empty, I went ahead and pulled the seats down and into the trunk to see what was underneath them. And it was pretty nasty, definitely not as bad as I expected, but it definitely needed to be vacuumed. So I went ahead and did that. And then I just neatly organized everything back into our trunk and then I needed to put all the returns in there. So I went ahead and gathered all of those and placed them on top so that we can make just a full day trip to get all of those things returned. Now I'm just continuing to pick up all the stuff that doesn't belong and throw away all the trash. I'm working on getting the floors nice and cleared so that I can vacuum all of them and get them nice and clean. Next, I moved on to the front seats and once again, I just cleared everything out and picked up all the trash. And then I also emptied out the glove box and cleaned that and organized that because it had gotten really cluttered and messy. The compartments and the doors always get filled with clutter and just a whole bunch of random things so I went ahead and cleaned and organized those as well on both of the doors. The cup holders in the back seat were absolutely disgusting and I have no idea what this goopy disgusting stuff is but it was really hard to get out. It was totally caked on and it smelled really bad. So I'm really glad I got that out of there. I was expecting this little compartment to be disgusting, but I was pleasantly surprised by only a little bit of trash and it didn't need to be wiped out, but that was to be expected. And yes, those are drawings on the car. My brothers did that about a year ago. The cup holders in the front were also really disgusting. This little middle thing needed to be really wiped down. While I was cleaning out the car, my mom decided she needed to clean my brother's car seat. It was so disgusting. 
like my mind was blown by how much food was just hiding under there. So she went ahead and removed all of the padding and washed that in the washing machine, get it nice and clean. And I went ahead and scrubbed all of the grime and food out from under there. I was just so shocked at how dirty it was. Also used some q-tips to get the hard to reach places which worked pretty well but there was still a lot of gunk left so I took a butter knife and I tried to scrape it out which again got a good majority of it out but not all of it so I did the best I could and it looked so much better than it did before Now I'm just finishing vacuuming up. Um, the vacuum had died a few times, which was really annoying, but I had to use our Dyson because our shop vac has something stuck in the tube. We need to get that out very badly. But the Dyson did work pretty well. I just couldn't find the crevice tool, which was really frustrating because I couldn't get so many of the crumbs out of those little nooks and crannies. But we did actually end up finding it, which was amazing. So then I went back and cleaned up all of those crumbs that I didn't get to before. They were driving me crazy, so I'm really glad I got all of those up. Here is the finished product. Our car looks so much better. I'm really hoping we can maintain it for longer than we normally do. You know, the first week or so is usually fine, but then it just goes downhill. So I really wanna keep this nice and clean so it's not such a pain to clean later on. And it's usually my brother's weekly chore to clear it out and vacuum it, but they hadn't done that for a few weeks. So it had just accumulated so much disgustingness and plus, you know, they don't clean like my mom and I set the standards for, so it's always nice to give it a nice deep clean. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments section. Also, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. I would appreciate that so much. I will see you all next time.